Welcome to Russ Chandler Stadium in Midtown Atlanta. Tonight it's the SEC versus the ACC as the Georgia Bulldogs meet the 25th ranked Georgia Tech and he Yellow Jackets. The ACC with 13 doubles. Wouldn't be surprised to see Spencer go here if he thinks he can get a jump on the left-hander. He doesn't go. The ball is right over the right field. Glover can't get to it. Rock Spengola, we already told you, he's got great speed. He gets the wave sign. No throw to the plate. Spengola scores easily. RBI double for Gonzalez, and Georgia Tech has a 1-0 lead. Well, that ball was sliced into the right field corner. Weber took one step in. And I won't say that was fatal because the ball was curving toward the right field corner. Gonzalez with a lead up with a double and an RBI. Gonzalez with his ACC leading 14th double of the season, RBI number 26. And once again, much like they did in the Florida State Series, Georgia Tech jumps on the top gates here in the first inning. Draws the walk, it's two to nothing. You know, he showed a pretty good bit of patience there, Matt, for a freshman. Usually uh, in a situation like that where you're two and two, you can see guys swinging at bad pitches. But he draws the walk in the RBI. Three one pitch. Walked him. That's the second pattern that has walked with the bases loaded. i got to imagine bowling's not going to pitch to another guy. That's three walks in the inning and a hit batter. He's walked in two of Georgia Tech's 26 to 7 route of Western Kentucky back on March 11th, and Powers is called out on strikes. Called strike three. Second called strikeout for Parr in the inning. Struck him out. Three strikeouts for Parr in the inning. And a strong answer from Parr after his offense staked into a 3-0 lead in the first inning in route to a 5-3 series opening win against the Seminoles. Payoff pitch, lined in the left field for a base hit. Third hit of the night for Georgia Tech. He's also had a couple of walk-off hits this year to win games against Miami and North Carolina. Lines this one, and that ball tails away from the center fielder, cut off by Spindola. Here comes the throw, and Bowers slides in there, overslides the back, and he's out. It'll go as a double. Well, I guess it'll go as a single and out at second. But he what nice play by Spingola to throw the ball all the way in the air to second base and stay just as stay on the base runner. And the umpire right on top of it. We can see it here. And, and he comes they, off and got it before he got back to the back. Back the 18 walks lead the team. That comes with hitting in the one and two hole, I think. You're a little more protective of the plate. Expected to get on base more often. Don't quite free swing. There's a base hit for center field. Ernest gets the wave around third. Here comes the throw. It's cut off, and he will score without a throw. Ernest touches the plate. RBI single for my Hyde. And Georgia Tech has a 4 nothing lead as Hyde picks up his 25th RBI. RBI the season. season to season average to a 324 that leads Georgia in SEC play but he goes on swinging right there as Shelton comes in and gets his first strikeout. I can tell here the 3-2 would be a fastball. Justice bobbles, picks it up and still throws him out. Wow. My goodness, he bobbled that thing and it still wasn't close. He is so quick. Randy, you hit the nail on the head earlier. He gets rid of that thing so quick. Catch Bowers it, go back even to the, the bag. Two outs here in the ninth. Nichols hits it on the ground to Justice, and Georgia Tech has snapped a three-game losing streak to the Georgia Bulldogs. Defeating Georgia tonight by a final score of 4-1. to one. Jackets have now won nine of their last ten games overall. They are 24-14 and 14 on the season as they head to Maryland this weekend for ACC action. Georgia drops to 21-15-1. They'll be on the road at Florida. Georgia Tech a 4-1 winner over Georgia. Ben Parr gets the win.